A city councilman is talking taxes for the riverfront, and it means you may be asked to pony up. The money would also go toward neighborhood sidewalks and alleys. News Channel 15's Kai Torpesoa attended a news conference about it today, and he is live downtown now with more on the cost and how people feel about the tax hike. We are along the St. Mary's River where many of those extra tax dollars we invested to give the people of Fort Wayne the quality of life that they desire. Now, City Councilman John Crawford says that this 0.15% tax increase is exactly what the public is asking for. City Councilman John Crawford says the choice is simple. If the public wants a high-end riverfront sooner than later, they have to help pay. With the proposed tax increase, the average household will pay an extra $6 a month. In total, Allen County would get an extra $13 million to work with. Some say they wouldn't mind a tax increase. I think the riverfront development would be really great, bring more people to Fort Wayne. Being someone who's from Fort Wayne, I stayed here for college just because how much I love it. I love IPFW, and I think it would just really bring a lot of great attention to the downtown Fort Wayne area and make it a lot of fun. Charles Osborne says... People shouldn't have to pay for it, especially if it's dirty. I don't like it because, you know, the Riverfront project isn't something that we need. If they want to raise the income tax, why don't they put it towards something like building new streets where there's potholes all over where cars are jumping over. We don't need a Riverfront project so the city can look pretty. The river is brown. Crawford says they've put hundreds of millions of dollars into cleaning the city's rivers and they don't plan to stop. If this income tax doesn't pass, it will take well over a decade to complete the riverfront development, but plans would still continue forward. If it didn't happen, let's say I suppose this doesn't happen, riverfront development will still happen, but it will be a much cheaper form of riverfront development and it will take much longer. And everything that we've got our feedback is people want a first class development and they want it as quick as possible. Crawford says the goal is to vote on the tax increase by mid-July. Live at the St. Mary's River, Kaitor Pessoa, News Channel 15.